it had never occurred to me that people could race bikes. That's just not something that we grew up with exposure to. And really from the first time that I saw it, it's like, this has everything that I'm looking for in a sport. Speed, it was an individual sport, and it was just really cool looking. I mean, and, and there was just, it's hard to describe because there was just something from the moment that I saw it, I knew that it was something that I wanted at least to try. Really from the first time that I got on a, on a proper track bike and started racing, I knew that it was something that I was at least going to pursue to the best of my abilities. And wherever that path took me was what it was, you know, whether that was all the way to professional ranks or just to the local, you know, local racing, it was something that I really enjoyed doing. Pretty much from the very, very, very beginning of my cycling career, you know, there were plenty of races where I just got annihilated in competition. And other days I won, you know, and, and I guess all that I can know for sure is that I did what I needed to do. I did the training and I played by the rules. And if it turns out that other people were not, you know, that was their decision. And they have to live with the knowledge that they cheated and, and maybe those victories that they have are hollow. We as a sport want to make the sport better. We have a bad history of, you know, cheating and, and performance enhancing substances, but we're moving forward from that. You know, we're testing athletes tons. You know, we have stricter uh, requirements for whereabouts and we're, you know, we as the sport, you know, we're really trying to work through that. But I think anti-doping and competing clean are important because they are the foundation really of the spirit of sport. I guess one of my favorite quotes um, that has really stuck with me throughout you know, the years has been an excerpt from uh, Teddy Roosevelt's speech, The Man in the Arena. It's not the person you know, that wins, that's the only one that's worthy of recognition. It's, you know, it's about being in the arena, you're sweaty, you're bloody, you're covered in dirt and dust, and sometimes you win and sometimes you don't. But it's better to lose and know that you gave your best than to not even try. Competing clean, anti-doping, it's one of the most pure ambitions that a lot of people can have um, in your playing the game. You know, and on the surface of it, it, it's really simple. It's, you know, you're trying to get the ball in the net more times than the other group of people, or you're trying to be the first person across an arbitrary line drawn on the road. And so I think if you approach it as, as a very pure endeavor, then I think competing with integrity and, and being a clean athlete will be easy.